Uh, hi folks, wow, twice in a week, aren't you guys lucky? Um, so I wanted to uh, just do a very quick video, I think it's going to end up being really quick because uh, Hammerhead um, sent me an email, I don't, know if, I don't know if many of you got it or if you've seen it on various social medias about a big Black Friday sale, and I guess probably what I'll do is I'll record a little, um, maybe I'll go inside afterwards and show the video, and I'm actually recording this on uh, Tuesday. Uh, whatever the Tuesday before U.S. Thanksgiving is uh, quickly running out at lunchtime here. Um, but what I think I'll do is I'll do just a quick little ride, um, and this will be the introduction to that, obviously, and then what we'll do is potentially go inside. Um, I'll show the email and kind of give my, uh, I guess, my impressions on, um, depending on how good the deal is, whether this is a buy right now. Um, I don't know how many people watch the channel that um, don't already own one, but it might be interesting for others and maybe someone will do a YouTube search and find, um, find this quick uh, video, I guess, about the, the unit. But anyways, let's, um, let's get riding. Maybe I'll stop during and report. I'm going to do the same uh, route test. Um, excuse the dirty handlebars on the cyclocross bike, but this was the quickest way to get out today, and it's nearing the end of cross season, so I'm not really about to uh, clean up the bar tape right now. I'll have to wait till the season's done. So anyways, we'll go out. Maybe I'll try to stop at that same spot again in the sunshine. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm a little overdressed today, but um, it should be fine. Let's get out there and ride, and I'll give an update uh, midway through to let you know how things are going. I'm pretty sure this is the same software version that I was running um, in the last video, which was only about a week ago, so we'll see how this goes. Hi folks, so I'm not sure where I'll stick in that little uh, interlude I just recorded. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But I thought it might be interesting for you to see um, kind of the area at different times of year. I'm not sure I've ever recorded down here. I am stopped obviously in a different place. I'm not stopped by the golf course. Uh, this is a beach parking lot. This is Douse's Beach in Osterville, Massachusetts. Um, <clears throat> and I stopped here trying to get out of the wind a little bit. I'm hoping it's not... So hopefully this works. Um, I'm not sure I can switch it to to night mode. So uh, let's hope this this comes out. So what I thought I would try. So first of all, I'm on my usual route, the road test. Um, it's going fine. Um, right now it's confused because, and I've done this before. It doesn't know it doesn't know anything about this parking lot. Um, so what I thought I would try, and I have never done this before, so this could go spectacularly wrong, and it's um, not necessarily the crew's fault if it does. Um, but what I want to do, and I'm trying not to block the, try not to block the uh, microphones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this, and it does, it's not immediately obvious when you come in here um, how to do this, but there's a small icon in the upper left here that lets you remove the course. Um, and now what I want to try to do, and I'm not sure actually if this is the right way to do it, um, I think I have to unlock the screen. I'm going to look for my home icon. So that is interesting, and that is a new, that is definitely, I wish this was coming out on the camera better. Hopefully I can either fix this on the software, or I think what's happening is that the GoPro is seeing the very bright ground here, and it's having a hard time focusing on the screen. So hopefully what's showing up here is there's a little icon, it does, it did know where my home was, and there's also a little um, purple, I don't know why it's purple, but um, there's a little purple cyclist icon, so I guess I'm hoping that if I click on that, um, that that's going to route me home. Um, it does appear to be giving me directions. Uh, I'm going to lock the 
the screen again. And it does, so, so that's interesting. So the line then now is purple. So instead of a red line or a blue line when you're off course, that, that appears to be purple or violet, I guess is really the correct color. Um, and it does show, it's like that, that image on the, the, the upper little bar just below the paused bar is showing um, that it is routing me home. So we're going to try this. Uh, maybe I'll stop in the in the driveway quickly on the way home to, uh, or when I get home to uh, kind of summarize this. And then probably what I'll do, I'm recording this on Tuesday. The email about the special Black Friday deal is supposed to come out tomorrow. So maybe what I'll do is I will um, finish the recording of this. I will um, wait till tomorrow to see what this special Black Friday deal is and then maybe give my impressions on um, whether you should even consider buying this at this point in 2019. Um, and then we'll kind of summarize, you know, maybe what the, what your options are at this point, depending on who else comes out with a great deal. Because um, Garmin and Wahoo and all these other manufacturers are probably going to have their own specials. So um, maybe we'll just see what, what, the, what the deal is and whether the video is even worth recording. And I will probably stop quickly at home and record a couple of minutes of how I made out following this course that's uh, it's giving me for home and I may actually deviate from this and just do the normal course because I think this is going to be um, a more direct route and I want to be out a little bit longer although I do have to get back to work um, from home today so anyway thanks for watching hi folks so a very quick ride summary I'm in my uh in my very messy garage right now, but uh, I'm out of the wind and the ride's over. I did want to note something, and I don't know if you can see it or if you'll be able to see it, um, but so the one, I guess, bad news about this ride, and I, I don't want to focus on the negative, but it's something you need to consider. So <clears throat> they advertise, you know, 10 hours of battery life. I, I would say that's um, optimistic at best, and it's um, perhaps disingenuous. Um, you'll note that the, the Karoo is down to 7%. When I, when I left the beach, I did have a little thought to myself that it may have been a while since I had last charged this. Um, and what it's showing, and you can notice it's just dropped to 6%. Now it's not recording, all it's doing is showing the screen. So I'm going to try to get this ride uploaded before I completely run out of battery. Um, <clears throat> But it went from, it, last I recorded, or when I left the beach, it was at 38%. It's down to 6% in a half an hour. So that's, you know, a third of the battery gone in a half an hour. So I would say that from 100% to approximately 30 or 40% regularly, it's probably in the 10% an hour range. But that really only gets you six or seven hours of battery life. You know, it's 10 to 8 to 10%. So, you know, down to 30 or 40 And it, it's not just Karoos that have technology problems. So the GoPro just shut off on me. Hopefully I haven't lost audio again this time. But um, <clears throat> so again, it's just, battery life is not as advertised. So if you need this thing to last you for eight or 10 hours, you better have a way to carry an external battery pack or you better be in absolutely ideal conditions because it's not a 10 hour battery right now. Um, I had, I did have GPS going. I did have navigation going. I did you know, quote unquote, trick it, and I deleted the, the, the route and added a route home, which it did do absolutely fine routing me home. And I don't know if that's um, why the battery life deteriorated so quickly, because it was doing, it would seem like it should do just a, a one-time calculation. I'm not really sure how the on-the-fly take-me-home stuff works, but um, that may or may not be the reason. I don't really know, but... Um, so otherwise the ride was was good um i do need to get back to work so i'm going to cut this short and i think what i'll do is when the email comes out tomorrow with the deal i will uh, record something and hopefully stitch this all together with sound gopro willing and um and get this published so that people can maybe have a little more information before they make a uh, holiday purchasing decision talk to you soon Hi folks, so um, it's two days later, it's actually Thursday, it's Thanksgiving Day in, in the States, so if you celebrate or um, 
then happy Thanksgiving. Um, we're going to get right to it because I kind of rambled a lot and I repeated myself quite a bit in those first clips, but I thought some of the information in there was important enough to, um, to warrant just stitching it all together and not trying to edit it too much. So anyway, so here's the deal. So, um, I'm trying to remember what I, I was going to look through my emails and remember what I paid. I don't remember what I paid as the pre, um, I think I paid one ninety nine back in the day, but I've but I ordered a Carew, um, over two years ago. It was summer of two thousand seventeen, I believe, when I actually placed my order. Maybe sometime in like August, and it didn't arrive for me until the following February. So it was February of two thousand eighteen. So I've had the unit, um, you know, over eighteen months. Um, I don't know how many rides I have with it. I think the crew, it's not sitting here right now or I'd, or I'd show it to you. Um, I think the crew has almost 8,000 miles on it and that's probably not all the riding I've done. So <clears throat> I have a reasonable level of experience, let's say with the device. So I guess the bottom line is if you're, if you're finding this video for the first time, because you, you, the title showed up on YouTube, um, and maybe you've just skipped to this section and you kind of want me to get to the point which, which is, is it worth buying? So right now, um, it's discounted $150. Well, they're saying this, they're showing $499. They were selling these for $399. So it's never actually, as far as I know, sold for $499. So it's currently, so this is a little disingenuous right off the bat. It's really only $150 off, which is still a significant discount. I'm not going to... Um, and they did send, and I'm still trying to decide what to do with them. So I have two coupon codes, which would get the unit to two people for $1.99. Um, and I've offered that up locally to members of my cycling club, and no one has quite taken the bait yet. So what I may do is just paste that code into the description, or um, that's probably what I'll do. I'll just paste it into the description for the video. I may post it to Facebook at the same time. Um, locally and if somebody feels like grabbing it they can grab it so just know that if you go to use the code and it's saying it's invalid it's probably because it is invalid and two other people have have grabbed the deal so I don't really have a good way to um, kind of fairly distribute this and I only got two of them so I guess <clears throat> I'm just gonna throw it out there so I would say for $1.99 certainly if you can get it for $1.99 and the code works or you can get a code from somebody else um, this is probably a compelling computer. Um, I'm not sure I would recommend it to people as their first computer because it's quite a bit different. There's a lot of stuff going on. You almost kind of need maybe a little bit of experience with cycling computers for this to really be a benefit to you. But then again, maybe you just want to get something interesting for someone. Um, at 249, it's a little tighter, and so I'm just going to scroll through this briefly. This shows some of the the, the and, and and their artwork is actually out of, out of date because a lot of these fields are now centered in the or out, these data elements are centered, so it looks like their artwork is slightly out of date. Um, so I guess these are the new pictures. That just shows what's in the box. That's just a side shot. That's a shot on the bike. Uh, that's the same one as this. Um, and then the other thing you might want to look at is um, this product comparison page. So this is probably, and they haven't updated their price, obviously. So um, this is, you can see what the URL is up here. It's just hammerhead.io slash pages slash crew dash product dash comparison. Um, this is probably a more reasonable thing. And they didn't update their price, but I don't know, and I haven't done any searches today on Thanksgiving Day. Um, it's not quite Black Friday yet. Um, I haven't done any searches to determine what the other units are potentially discounted at. So Carew sitting at 249 versus a Garmin 1030. This is also, they've also updated this. I'm not sure if the pa this page says or not, but the email that they sent... Um, did indicate that they were giving people 90 days instead of 45 to evaluate it. And I think that's because, you know, if you bought it now and you didn't give it to somebody for a month, um, you know, most of that 45 days would be gone. So um, that is reasonably generous that they're updating or, or extending that trial period. Um, I'm pretty sure it was in the email that I got. 
I don't want to switch over to my other browser window because I just don't know what's in there. It's not uh, nothing terrible. It's just not <clears throat> necessarily stuff I want to be sharing. <coughs> um, excuse me. So, and then so here's the product comparison page, and they do go through you know how the route import. I'm not going to go through all of these, but I mean generally it does stack up favorably to particularly a Garmin, you know, an expensive Garmin. That is an expensive Garmin, $600. I don't know if they'll go on sale. Um, you can you can kind of click through these yourself, and you probably should. Um, the screen resolution, and that's one of the differentiators of this device, is very good. Um, although it's not, it's, well, the Garmin's is sort of a weird size. So 480 by 640 is a typical, you know, 4 by 3 aspect ratio that you would see on a computer. It's just... Um, portrait instead of landscape in this case, but um, pixel density, you know, that's one of those things that, you know, Apple used to tout about their screens. Um, that's actually very good, and the screen is very good. So the screen is very good. The operating system, they call it the Crew OS. It is Android under the hood if you're if you're finding this video for the first time and you're unaware of what this is. Um, this, I would say, is completely disingenuous at this point, and I just talked about that, I think, in the previous clip. There's, unless you're in absolutely ideal conditions with no sensors, screen brightness turned all the way down, I don't see how you would ever get 15 hours out of the battery. So I think they've got that in there because that's what Garmin says theirs does. And I would be willing to bet that a Garmin can't reach that mark either, but I haven't had one for a while and I certainly don't have a 1030, so I can't say for sure. But I think once you start connecting sensors and you start doing routing and you start doing all the stuff that the units can do, you have multiple sensors connected. Um, it, that's th those are probably grossly overestimated. I would guess my unit in like good conditions, fully charged, probably eight solid hours, maybe seven or eight um, before I start really worrying about it. Um, but I've never been on a seven or eight hour ride, so I don't really know. Um, the touchscreen is good. Um, they talk about somewhere in here about it being, you know, um, working well in the rain. Mm, that's hit or miss. I've had problems within the rain where water droplets have tried to scroll the screen back and forth or make the screen kind of jittery as it seems like it's going to go back and forth. So, you know, neither here nor there. Um, I guess a Rome right now is going for 350. I think that's Wahoo's newer one with the better mapping. Um, and you can go through this comparison yourself. I don't, I've never used a Wahoo product. A couple of friends have them, but I can't really speak to speak to a, a Wahoo Rome. An Element Bolt is probably, you know, it's going to be obviously closer. It's the same price right now, according to this. Uh, that's a smaller, I think the screen size on that is quite a bit small. Yeah, two and two, a little over two inches versus three and a half. So, um, and then I'm not sure why they put an iPhone on here. That seems like a silly. Uh, that would be a good comparison if the Karoo was a quote-unquote open environment or at least had a curated app store right now, which is one of my major complaints, and they don't. They don't have that. Um, if, you, if you're good at tinkering or you want to tinker around with Android and sideload apps, you can do that, um, but it's not, it's not intuitive. It's not easy. It's probably going to avoid the warranties, as far as I remember them saying, um, and it's, you know, <clears throat> that that's what it is. So, bottom line, I guess I don't know how long I've been rambling for again here, but I was trying to go through a couple of the pages and 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 give you some idea. So I have a hard time, I guess, personally, because of the various um, promises that have been made over the last two years about what's coming and what's not coming and when it's coming. I have a hard time giving this like a hard buy, like it, what 249, this is definitely a buy. I, I, I have a hard time saying that. Um, if you can get it at 199, that's probably worth the risk to say, hey, let's, let's try it. I already have a computer X. I'd like to try computer Y. Let's try this one. Um, at 249, if you have an older unit, uh, like maybe like a Garmin 510 or 520 that maybe doesn't have mapping or you have an older whatever it is that doesn't have mapping and you like mapping and you um, then 249 is probably a good price to you. So, you know, a couple of people have asked me about it. Again, I posted it to my local cycling club and, and my, my, my quick one word description of the device is quirky. So most of the time it's great. 
when it acts up, it acts up weirdly and you kind of don't know why, but it, you can go over to Garmin's forms or Wahoo's forms and probably hear the same thing. So maybe I'm being too hard on it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess the good news, maybe from my perspective, if a whole bunch of people go out and buy this thing at 249 or 199 then there's a lot more people in the community. There's maybe a lot more squeaky wheels trying to get things done. Um, I would say the one real downside of the device, like the hardware's good, the screen's good. Um, mine has been pretty much um, bulletproof for, for several months now, although, and but I would say the reason for that is because they're just not adding a lot to it. And they're not adding a lot to it that, um, and in the software that I can actually take advantage of. The, the very radar, the, um, light interaction i want to say light interaction it's not it's not it's the radar and i can't remember what else they just added oh um di2 integration so all the electronic group sets are integrated um i don't have any of those so i can't can't use them uh, i can't tell you about them can't tell you how they work but um oh i did want to show shucks i don't think i have that so i'm not going to be able to show that they did just come out with a new um an atg a new um, sorry, for those that are finding this for the first time, the ATG is the advanced testing group that I'm a part of. They did release a new software revision. I think it was actually just yesterday. Um, and it did have, um, I guess, nothing really amazing in it, but there were some interesting changes. Um, maybe I'll paste that onto the screen now or, or quickly at the end. Um, but I want to get this done and compiled and um, out in case anybody finds it and they find it useful. So 249, I would say, you know, let's say if in case I want to put a timestamp in this and people just want to skip to the total end, um, 249, it's probably a solid, maybe, and, and maybe a definitely if you have an older unit that you're looking to replace, probably a good price. 199, probably a very good price if my coupon code or somebody else's coupon code actually works for you. Um, so anyways, I'm going to cut it off now, um, all dressed up, ready to go to Thanksgiving dinner. Um, so I'm going to quickly stitch this all together and get it out. And, um, so I hope everybody enjoys their shopping and, uh, their holidays in case you don't hear from me between now and the end of the year. Um, and as always, if you've gotten this far, thanks for watching.